amongst you can tell me why I called for this meeting? You are the head of personnel, and it is possible you have something important to discuss with the workers under you. Um, amongst the girls that works with you, four of us are the ones in senior position, so we believe you want to give us new responsibilities. Hmm, that's nice, Susan. I can go with that. So, I want to tell you right now that I want to give you new responsibilities. The question is, what are these new responsibilities? Well, madam, you are the boss. Speak to us. We are listening. I have less than eight months to work in this establishment before I go on retirement. I have received a letter from the supervising board that I am the one that we recommend who will take over from me. That recommendation must come from the four of you. Now I ask, who amongst you is qualified to take over from me? as the head of personnel. Leadership is all about confidence. And I want to see confidence this morning. to take over from me as the head of personnel in this establishment before I retire in the next eight months. With all due respect, Ma, I must say four of us are qualified enough to take over from you as the head of personnel. But as four of us cannot assume position, it's um, ideal for you to use wisdom and make a decision. Because it will not be fair for me to say I am better than her and she is better than me. Oh, that's nice. I hope uh, that goes down well with all of us. Yes, ma'am. Good. Very well then. I will use my discretion. For the meantime, I want you to see me in my office before the end of business today. Okay, ma'am. Jane. Jane? Yeah. Do you know why mother never looked your way this morning? Carol, I don't know why you singled me out, but she didn't look your way either, did she? Jane, I want to open up your eyes. This tattoo you carry on your hand, it's bad. It's not good. <sighs> I don't understand. Are you trying to insult me? I'm sorry, Jane, but you must know that people do not see tattoo in good light. They see it as a mark of irresponsibility. You know what, Carol? Get out. It's my business. Um, you know, I have the strong feeling you'll be the new head of personnel. <laughs> Why would you say that? Is it because she asked me to see her before close of business today? Oh, come on, girl. I mean, it's obvious. The call suggests that. You know, She's already in love with your gods. <laughs> I think otherwise anyways. Let me tell you, Madame Luptaza is the real definition of troublemaker. And I'm sure the supervising boss has not sent her the letter yet. Anne! Why she just say anything like that? I mean, why should she say the sent her letter when he didn't send her any? My dear, I'll get to see you after seeing her. But 
One advice I need to give you, if you're getting close now, be very careful because that woman can take any wild decision at any time. Based on my close interaction with her, I can say she has no conscience. Girl, I need to go. I'll see you later. Madam Lufthansa has no conscience. That's rather harsh. What should she say? Human being has no conscience. I think I'm familiar with the number, but I can't place the name. Good morning. Well, good morning. Um, I'm sure you'll be able to decode the voice as this discussion continues. Um, the place is Open and Close Cleventy Restaurant. That's where it's going to be happening this afternoon. At these early hours of the morning, when normal people are going around their businesses, I know you will be along your roadside drinking. Well, I don't want to talk about that right now, so remind me of that your name again. <laughs> My name is Tim. Or well, those who know what's up call me Kimberly. I am one of the many men who know what's up in this town. Kim, Kimberly, or whatever your name is called, I do not care. Please, I beg of you, do not ever in your miserable life call this number again. Hey, Susan, love. Why, why are you talking like this, my love? Why? Who is your love? Kim, what are you talking about? Now listen to me, please. Don't call this number again or else you will suddenly find your fingers burning. Excuse me. This is something... <laughs> she hung up. <laughs> oh, she's underrating you. Just like every other fool that underrates me. They do not know that I'm one of the men who have this town fully wired. You know why I sent you for that very important meeting? Yes, sir. You sent me because I'm your secretary and you've told me a number of times that you trust me. Well, that ultimately is not the reason I sent you there. I sent you there so you can see clearly, so you can have a broader perspective of marketing. You see, the world is evolving and anyone who wants to remain relevant in business today must evolve with the world. I'm sorry, sir. I must admit, I'm lost. Of course you look lost. I want you to listen to me, Rita. The business world has gotten to a stage where female marketers are now the brains behind financial growth in their establishment. So I want you to understand that pretty soon, I may have to employ another secretary and push you to marketing proper. If that's your decision, sir, I have no problems. You trust me and I can't afford to disappoint you. Excuse me. Hello? There's only one way to make me happy. Mother, are we going to start the day with this? I haven't even said anything. Yes, I know you've not said anything, but I already know what you want to say, Mother. Look, Mother, this is a new day. Filled with so many opportunities. Let's not start the day with this find a wife, marry her urgently thing, please. My dear, do you know what I saw in the television yesterday? In this country, where unemployment is biting so hard. In this country, where university lecturers still ask innocent girls to pay for rooms, hotel rooms, where they will be taken before they can even see the result of courses they passed already. In this country, where almost all the major roads have, have become dead traps. In this country, where all categories of low standard goals are imported with ease. Men in the Senate have not discussed how to solve this problem and even more. Yesterday, they were discussing how to legalize same-sex marriage. Ah! Well, Mother, I don't see how that concerns me. And of course, I am not in the Senate. Of course I know you're not in the Senate. Even when I know it is not a big deal to be in the Senate. But the problem I have here is that it is now clear to me 
that a large number of our men have become gay. And I want my son to prove to me that he is not one. Mother, are you are you kidding me? Are you actually asking me this kind of question? What, what will make you think I'm gay? The only thing that will make me happy is for you to settle with a woman that will be your wife. As long as you are finding it difficult to do this, I have no other option than to believe that you are gay. Oh, mother, you are kidding me. Uh, okay, you know what's going to happen? I will come to your office later today so we can sit down and talk about this. That won't even solve the problem, my dear. It will change a whole lot of things, mother. I want to look you in the eye and tell you that your son is not gay and he will never be gay. See you later, mother. <laughs> hey! Wonders will never end. This got us in a mess. Big mess. Thank God, you know I'm on. I'm not just on, I'm on fire, baby. And I'm gonna remain on and on and on until you see me and speak with me. Kimberly. Oh, that's my name, so you know. Now tell me, why have you been avoiding my calls? I've called you with all my numbers and you wouldn't take your call, why? Do you know I can report you to the police? That I'm in love? <laughs> okay, they will arrest me, definitely, but they will release me immediately I'm arrested. Because they know I'm in love. They know the strong man is in love. In love with who? Who are you in love with? Of course, I'll be insane to be in love with any other woman except you. You're the one I want. You're the one I know I desire. And, uh... I'm just asking you to give me a chance. Let me prove myself to you. Kimberly, what if I tell you I'm in love with someone else? I will simply ask you to give me the guy's address. I'll go to his house. I'll sit him down. I'll have a chat with him. I'll explain to him that he cannot have you. Because you belong to me. And if I can't have you, no one can have you. Are you threatening me or what? <laughs> All right, let's not go too far. Um, can we do lunch? <laughs> uh, what? Why are you crying? Don't worry about me. I'm just too emotional. You're just too emotional. That's why you're crying while I was chatting with my woman. Oh God, your money is 60 Naira. Just pay me and go. All right, sorry. Take, you can keep the change, okay? <laughs> but I hope this crying has nothing to do with me. <sighs> this world is changed. The world is strange, so we all know that. I have someone I like with all my heart, and I'm willing to do anything to make him happy. But he doesn't even care about me. And now you are here trying to win a girl she, who doesn't even care if you exist or not. Oh. This is really, really strange. Oh, so that's it. That's why you're crying, eh? Yes. Okay, the girl I just spoke with doesn't care I exist. Huh? She doesn't care now. You're mad. You are not even mad. You're a big fool. That's why you are here. See? That's why you keep making phone calls. There's nothing else you would do. Would you have say? no brains. Why would you say that? Shut up and give me my give me that change. The change you already said I should keep. See if you do ah. everything here will go. Doesn't know it doesn't know I exist. Oh! <laughs>
That's why people like you always continue to make phone calls forever. How did that go wrong? Time I'm gonna be riding in a car driven by a woman. <laughs> um, count yourself lucky because I know this town inside out and I've won several awards for being the best cab operator in this city. Uh, that means you know this town very well, you're grounded, okay? Yeah, so I like that. <laughs> Thank you. So, where are we going? Close Coventry Restaurant. You have a date? I have a date. I suppose with a cheap woman. A cheap woman? Why would you mm -hmm. say that? Because the restaurant you mentioned is a cheap bar. And it's meant for low income earners. Huh. Um, if you have a date, you should go to another place. Or you want to tell me that the clone you're wearing, you stole it. What? You know the clone I'm wearing? Yes. Called Osis 66. Wow. Yes. <laughs> and wow. it sold for 80,000 naira for the pirated version. The original thing of it is sold for 300,000. So I know very well that it's only big politicians who wear that. <laughs> so for you to wear it means you're well connected. Oh, wow, well, wow, well, wow. Well. Okay, all right. Since you know this town very well, take me to where you want. I'm seeing you for the first time. I think I like you. I want you to take me to where I will access you more. <laughs> okay. Last so my lady come. We go. <laughs> Tell me the truth. If you tell me the truth, I will understand. Forget the fact that you are working under me. I am a, a very simple woman, easygoing woman. Tell me about your boyfriend. Ma, I don't have a boyfriend. Oh. I know it's difficult to believe, but that's the truth. I don't have a boyfriend. Are you by any means telling me that you are a virgin? No, <laughs> no, I didn't say that. I'm not a virgin, but I'm not seeing any man right now. Okay. I am preparing you for something. Because mm. I like you as a person. Thank you, Mama. You have worked with me for so long. And I have found you very reliable. Thank you, Ma. So tell me, I want to know about your boyfriend, your love life. Are you shy? <laughs> okay. The truth is, I used to have a lover. He was a young, nice man from an average family until his father became the ambassador to the United States and they all moved to the US. He got there and started acting funny. All of a sudden, he forgot everything we shared. The next thing I heard was that he got married to a woman in the US and their marriage produced two kids. 
his marriage collapsed and he's back in the country now asking and begging me to come back but my mind is made up i can't go back i'm i'm alone this is my love life that's okay i wanted to meet my son why my son is not like the son of the ambassador I want you to meet him. He's coming here to see me later today. Um, Ma, I'm sorry, but I need to understand what you want from me. Are you saying you want me to date your son? I don't want you to just date my son. I want my son to marry you. You see, he listens to me. If I recommend you, he won't object. Ma, I'm, I'm so honored to be worthy to be called your daughter-in-law. <laughs> but I can't say anything until I meet your son first. That's okay. But please try to be around when he'll be here. I will. Sorry, Ma, I need to get back to my desk. Ah, no problem. You just try to be around when he'll be here. Okay, Ma. Sorry, I need to get back to you. No problem. <laughs> Nice drink, nice cozy environment, you know. <laughs> All right, let's take it like this. Um, let's start from you telling me your name. My name? Why do you want to know my name? I want to know your name because, because I like you. You like me because something inside you tells you I'm a cheap woman you can easily lay up to your bed. Why are you talking like that? Haven't even talked about sex? Yeah. People thinking about it will always say they are not thinking about it. I know men a whole lot. They are predominantly liars. Well, but you have to exempt me because I'm not one of them. Um, I know I'm an extrovert. I, I say things the way they are. I speak my mind, make my points freely. I know a lot of people don't like that about me, they hate me. But that's my source of progress. You have a date with another woman, remember? Oh, I remember, but that, that was before God changed my plans. I would be dumb not to see the handwritings on the wall. What if I may ask, is the handwriting on the wall? <sighs> you. You are the handwriting on the wall. And you are the one I want. You are the one God has given to me today, not any other woman. I know what you want. You want me on your bed. <laughs> no problem. You will definitely have me on your bed someday. It will be fun. <laughs> but first. I want to see this sensation in you. Hey, hey, hey. Hold on. What do you think you're doing? Well, walk out on me just like that. <laughs> see, this is business hour. Call your girl, tell her to meet you up here. Whatever you do with her is not going to affect what I'm going to do with you. Mm -hmm. But I must go now. Well, okay, go, go, hold it, hold it. Shut up. Now I know. I have a good idea of your daily average income from that cab out there. So what if I pay you double? I'm um, sorry, I don't work that way. Duty calls. But I'm going to make things easy for you. Um, this is my card. My name is Brenda. Call me anytime you want. Hmm? Thank you. Brendo Pasco. Brendo Pasco. 
What a name. <laughs> Another one gone down. Another one bastard to us. <laughs> I must admit, Mother, that your call this morning got me very curious. I'm, I'm thinking, why would my mother ever think that I would be gay? What we discussed in the morning should not be a problem. I want us to make the best out of this meeting. And what do you mean by make the best out of this meeting? Mother, in case you've not realized, I'm actually trying my best to take this lightly. You made a very serious allegation, and I want us to trash it out right now. There's a girl in this office that I wanted to meet. Her name is Anne. And what would I be doing with this, uh, Anne? She will make an excellent wife. I wanted to meet with her, observe her, and make up your mind about her. Mother, you never cease to amaze me. What do you take me for? You think I'm still that little boy that you can make decisions for, guide me on everything I do? What, what? The point here is that your mother is retiring in the next eight months, and you are still not yet married. I want you to meet with her. She's the one that will take over this office from me when I retire. And I want you to make her your wife. Um, sorry to bad you my email, but this is really urgent. We need you to see if I'm right if I want to be. And mm -hmm. Please forgive my bad manners. This? You don't need to worry yourself about this. I have already discussed with the overall head. The approval will be out by the end of next week. Okay, then. But you can still go ahead and inform them. Write them and give them the entire information. Okay, then I'm relieved. No, 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 don't go yet, please. Ma, is there anything I can do for you? Please sit down. You remember I told you I wanted to meet my son? His name is Hilary. That's him. And now, son, I told you I want you to meet a girl in this office named Anne. This is Anne. Nice to meet you, sir. I am a woman, and I'm sure you'll give it up to me to be grounded in family values. I want both of you to discuss, talk, and I wish you fruitful discussion. <laughs> Please, 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 please. Don't mind my mother. She has this habit of feeling that everything she thinks is okay. You have to mind me in this one. <laughs> I'm really serious. All right, it's okay. Excuse me. Have a wonderful discussion. What's the money for? You know, you got me very, very angry earlier on today. This I have brought to thank you for actually getting me angry. <laughs> You're confusing me. All right, see, you got me so angry that I couldn't wait for my cabman and I had to wave down to that cab you saw. And the waving down of that cab was the best thing that has happened to me today. So I have brought this to say thank you. 
How does it affect me? How am I involved in all of this? Uh, okay. You see that good for nothing woman I was calling here? I've decided to abandon her. She's out of my life. And I want you to do the same thing. I want you to take your eyes away from a man who wouldn't love you even when you're loving him. He wouldn't reciprocate your love. Who knows? When one door doesn't close, another would not open. One day you might be lucky to run into someone who is bigger and better. Okay? And um, I also want to say I'm very sorry for talking down you, um, running you down as it were. Okay? Please. So, um, please take this. Thank you. We'll see some other time, okay? <laughs> Bye. This is strange. You know, the moment you walked into my mom's office, I felt something run down my spine. And I think this is the very first time something like this has happened. <laughs> I also think I know why it happened. It's because you are unique. Yes, and I wouldn't want to take you for granted. I don't know what you have in mind. What I have in mind. <laughs> you heard what my mom said up there. So I should be asking you, what do you have in mind? <laughs> Your mom is my boss. And whatever she says, I'm obliged to do. Ah, that would be in the official circle. I can tell you that my mom said what she said because she's a woman. So I want you to take whatever she said like the talk of a natural woman. <laughs> you talk like you don't know your mother better than I do. Whatever she says, she means it. And whatever she has said up there, she means it. So I would not want to um, disagree to it so I don't fall out with her. You know, I'm just seeing you for the very first time. But based on what I've heard about you, I like you. I heard you're a very serious working class lady. I want to ask. Look me in the eye and tell me you don't have a serious relationship. I need you to understand one thing here. The fact that your mother wants us to get to know each other does not mean we should not use our brains. Let's just play along. Ah, play along. You talk as if you already know I have a serious relationship. <laughs> Why would I not know that? And the respect I have for you would have dwindled if you had told me you don't have a relationship. <laughs> of course I wouldn't say that. I just want to talk with you because you are beautiful <laughs> and charming and sexy. <laughs> I'm so happy you're mature and um, I'd want us to act like adults. Let's just play along. Yeah. Don't say it again. I like you as a friend and I would want to see you as my friend. <laughs> Alright. Um, if your mother asks me, I'm going to tell her that you're getting on well. And I want you to tell her the same thing when she asks you so that um, we don't get her angry with us. Just go ahead with your relationship. Be with the woman you want to be with. Make it work. I don't want to come in between a good relationship. I was in love before, but the experience was not so good. So I wouldn't want to do that to another woman. You have charmed me with those words. <laughs> nice words. And I tell you, I will keep in touch. <laughs> Okay, and um, I'm going to be here for you as a friend. Just call me whenever you need me. <laughs> All right. Mm. Do you have a nice day? I need it's, to get back. It's good. Ah. My dear, 
How did he come? I'm through with him now. You're through with him? Yes, ma'am. Where is he now? He's gone. I can call him back if you want no, to see him. No, 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 no. I can always call him back. Please sit down. I can see that everything went fine. Yes, ma'am. We started well, like you say. And um, we have a good foundation for a relationship. Oh, God. Yes. <laughs> I settled for you because I know you have the heart of a woman. I owe you the compliments, ma'am, because you are the boss and I have learned from you. <laughs> Now I know I can open up to you. Ma, what is the letter for? My retirement is not in the next eight months. Like I told you and your colleagues this morning. I am leaving this establishment next month. You are the woman for my son. I want to tell you here and now that you are taking over this office from me. Why would they retire you so suddenly? I asked for it. And I know why I want to retire. I want to help my son build his family. Now that you're the woman for him, it makes the whole work easier for me. <laughs> Ma, I'm so happy you find me good enough as your daughter-in-law. I, I promise I won't disappoint you. Thank you. Thank you, Ma. Thank you. Yeah. I can't believe this. I can't even phantom it. Your mother took you to her office to introduce a girl that she found for you? Yeah. Hey, what's the meaning of that? What happened between me and the said girl is simply nothing. <laughs> I'm not asking you what happened. I'm asking you why didn't you tell your mother about me? Oh, baby, I didn't do that because, because I know my mother. <laughs> Look, listen. A lot of the girls who used to come to my place at the early stages of my life, they don't come anymore because they've come to the conclusion that my mother is just a troublemaker. Even if she's a troublemaker, why haven't you introduced her to me? Exactly what I am saying, it is not the right time. Oh, yeah. Oh, sweetheart, so, so, right. listen, 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 listen. My mother is not the kind of person you meet anyhow. Right? I am waiting for the ideal time, that's all. So tell me, who's this girl that you've been chatting all day oh. with? Look, I didn't spend the whole day chatting with her. We just, we just talked, that's all. Look, I'll be such a fool, a very big fool, to do anything with any other girl when I have, when I have somebody as beautiful as you. So tell me, who is this girl and uh, where did your mother get her from? Okay, fine. Her name is Anna Kozo. She works with my mother. My mother actually tipped her to take over from her. And that's all. Oh, baby, don't look at me like that. Come on. L listen, listen, listen. Mm. Okay, of all people should know me. Even if no one else believes me, you should believe me. I cannot do anything with any other girl. Okay? From the bottom of my heart, I love you. I won't do that. Okay. It is possible that the reason you did all this incantation is to make me believe that you are powerful. But I must tell you, Heather, all these things don't move me. 
I have come for you to tell me the future of my son with a woman I found for him. Prove to me that you know what you are doing. That you have no respect for constituted authorities. Is this true? Of course, I have huge respect for constituted authorities. But one thing with my life is that I am a no-nonsense woman that does not take any rubbish from any person. I was directed by one of my friends. And they said, you are very powerful when it comes to seeing into the future. I have come so that you tell me what the future holds for my son and the woman I found for him. What I see clearly is that she has a link with politics. I can see you looked into the past. I want you to look into the future and tell me, will she make a good wife for my son? The right question is, if your son is ready to be a good husband, she is harmless and totally rigs free. All her life, she has prayed for just one thing, the good man. Let your son be the good man and be sure that he will live to enjoy his wife. Remember, she has a link with politics. I am not disappointed. So, how much am I going to pay you for your services? Pay me whatever your mind tells you. Here is 10,000 Naira only. I want you to do everything within your power to make sure that things work out the way you said it. I know my son. He is a good man. Very well then. We shall try our best. Thank you. Kimberly, I want to know why you elected to play with me. How do you actually think I am one of those cheap low class girls that you can play with? Well, I'm sure you know what Pomor is. Those who have easy access to fish do not see anything good in Pomor. <laughs> do you know what that means? I don't understand. Please, can you explain? Okay, let me ask you. When you have access to the original of anything, would you want anything to do but the fake one? What are you talking about? Are you actually talking to me? The meaning is simple. You see, there's a... A beautiful lady in this town. Her name is Brenda Pascal. Okay, she's a, ta a taxi driver. But I can tell you that she's even more than the Ministry of Transport itself. Well, I'm happy to inform you that she has obliged me. And everything I ever felt for you, everything I had for you, I have given to her. Well, what I understand from your low-class explanation is that you're actually dating a common taxi driver. Yes, a common taxi driver. Oh, yes. But I love her. And she understands me. She understands that I'm not a two-timer like those who you die for. I'm the kind of man that when I'm hooked with one woman, I am hooked and I do not do time. Well, I am so disappointed to realize that you are actually what I've always believed you are. Let me tell you something. That day is coming when you will realize that all men are important. Anyway, I have no energy to go on like this with you, but I want to tell you something. A day is coming when you will realize that women like you who create class difference between men We'll be caught in the middle someday. Our day is coming. That day is coming fast. Well, I'm not going to change my line. This phone is permanently with me. This number is permanently on. Because I know one day and soon you're going to call me. And when you call, I will be here to say 
Hello. Kimberly. What does he think he can do? Who are you talking with? Yes, I was uh, speaking with Susan, the lady I told you about. Mm -hmm. She called you or you called her? Uh, why would I call her? She called me and was full of anger, talking and yakking, um, getting angry. I didn't pick her call all of last night. So I told her, yes, I wouldn't pick her call because I'd fallen in love. Falling in love with a cab driver, a taxi driver. Never you live under the illusion that I'm just a cab girl because I'm equal to so many things. I know. I know that on the first day I saw you, I knew you were equal to a lot of things. And yours truly here is also equal to a whole lot of things. <laughs> <laughs> I must say you have a way with words. Yeah. But that's that. by the way. Um, please call them to give me something to drink. Of course. Um, who is there? Waiter. So how was your day? I know exactly why they directed you to me. I know everybody and I know everything. Here in Obulene, I remain the most popular MC. I know an Okwazo. And if you pay me well, I will tell you everything you want to hear. There's one thing you must not do. Don't take me as a vulnerable woman you can exploit because I'm not going to give you a dime until you have proved to me that you know Anupoza very well. <laughs> Listen, madam, I'm not moved. I can see you are a tough woman, but I must chop your money. Anupoza is from Ezene village here in Obulenu. She's an orphan. Her only surviving uncle is Stephen Okwazo, who is also the secretary of town union. As you want your son to marry, and I will take you to a man that will make it work. So can I have the money now? Um, sweetie, why did you bring me here? I brought you here so we can drink and be happy. But sweetie, you know that I don't drink. I mean, why bring me to a VIP bar? Yes, I know you don't drink, but you know, I like to set the record straight. <laughs> what record? I mean, hello? She's the reason we're here. Hello. Hi. <laughs> oh, come on. Do me the honors. Do me the honors. Meet. My fiance, Esther. Oh, my sweetheart. Lovely lady. I love her so much. She means everything to me. <laughs> the whole world. Come on, come on. And meet Anne. Anne Okwazo. The same Anne. The same Anne my mother wants me to marry. Yes, I decided to bring her here because she now wants to work with me. So I deemed it fit to get my fiancé into it. <laughs> nice to meet you. Mm -hmm. Nice to meet you. <laughs> oh. Sit your ass. 
So what would you like to take? Um, I don't know. Let me see what they have. All right. Feel free. Guess who's calling me? Your mom. Hello, Ma. Uh, are you from Ezene village of Buleno? Yes, ma'am, from Ezene village. Do you have an uncle named Stephen? Yes, Stephen Okwano is my only surviving uncle. He lives in the family house in the village. Why are you asking, ma? Never mind why I'm asking, my dear. Are you no longer my daughter in law? Yeah? See, just realize that. My son will be a good man. Both of you shall make excellent couple. Thank you. I don't know what's going on. Your mother seems to know my only surviving uncle. And she knows the name of my village. Is your village far from here? Yes, Obuleni is about... Um, Seven hours drive from here. Is she making inquiries about me? Because I can't remember. I didn't submit any of those information in the office. Something is definitely going on. Bess in the MC of Obulin directed me to you. He says you are the only one that can make it work. And I want you to make it work. Did Benson tell you my name here in Obileno? I was attracted by your name. Because it shows that you are a man of outstanding integrity. That's why I have come to you. Here in Obileno, it is men that make marriage inquiries. So why are you here at night making marriage inquiries? The MC told me a lot of good things about you. And I will advise you, you don't let him down. Don't disappoint the young man by uh, creating unnecessary problems. No, I, I'm not creating problems. I'm only telling you the right procedures regarding your son marrying uh, an Okwozo. I will make it work. Once he declares his public interest, I will make it work. Why are you behaving as if you don't know what is happening? Your mother is already making concrete plan for you to marry that girl. You think it's ever going to work? Oh, come on, sweetheart. Give me a break. Give me a break. Oh, don't do this. Don't stop overworking your sexy, beautiful self. Hmm? You think so? Yeah. Your mother called her in your presence, asking her about her background. <laughs> so? So? Yes, yeah, so. So freaking what? Okay. Tell me. Look, that lady in there already knows that you are my fiance. You are my wife to be, so. Hillary, you attended a meeting engineered by your mother. Your mother introduced you to that girl. You both went together and agreed to play games on your mother. She later went ahead to your mother and told her that everything was well with you. Hillary. What if your mother surprises you and marries her for you? What will you do? You tell me. If she decides to do that in my absence, is she also going to do that in the lady's absence? Come on. Hey, look, wait. I've said this before. You just get all the more. You don't need all that. Listen, that lady in there understands that you are my fiance. Hillary, what is wrong with you? I mean, what is the matter with you? Are you telling me that you trust that girl in there? Is it what you're telling me? Hillary, come on. <laughs> Hillary, think. Think. All right. Give me a second. Fine. Take an hour if you want. <sighs> okay. What do you want me to do? I want you to take me to your mother and introduce me to her. Tell her that we are engaged. And tell her that our plans will not work. It won't work. Baby, baby, yes. don't do this. Don't do this. I've explained to you before. You don't... 
You don't handle my mother like that. I've known this lady for years. Look, it's a gradual process. Gradual it is process. a gradual process. Gradual process. It is a gradual process, right? Listen to me, Hillary. Sweetheart, if you claim to love me as you say you do, you will take me to your mother tomorrow morning and tell her that I am your fiancé. Okay. Fine. Mm. You really think that's the best thing to do? I don't think so. I know so, okay? You're taking me to your mother tomorrow morning. I'm going to meet her. It is sealed. All right? Sorry I got you waiting. I had to make a very important explanation to my woman. Hope you don't mind. No, it's okay. Esther, I feel you see me as a risk. And you think I want to snatch your man. <laughs> Don't worry, such is never going to happen. I was once in love and I know how it is to come in between two lovers. You should see me as friend. And I'm not a girl that will come and stab her friend in the back. <laughs> Thank you. Well, I feel so <laughs> relieved. <laughs> Thank you. I'm aware you've gone to Obolenu to ask questions on your end. And I'm wondering why you would elect to drive that long distance to make some, some unfounded inquiries. Is that what you call it? Yes. Now listen. I met a man named Ibema Lezioku, and he has promised to make things work. And I trust him. Listen, I'm not asking you to contribute anything. Just go with me to Obulenu and make a public declaration that you want to marry Anne Obozo. That's all. I am sorry, mother, but you are only chasing shadows. I have a girl named Esther. We've been dating for like two years now. She is the one I'm going to marry and not your Anne. You know what I'm going to tell you immediately? Like a joker. Fine. I'm a joker, but at least I'm an adult. I make my own decisions. Nobody will decide anything for me. I want you to bear this in mind that you are going with me to Obulenu. Mother, most of the people who have high blood pressure today brought it upon themselves. Don't start something you cannot finish. I have made it clear I am going to Iselolisa, not Obulenu. One of the most painful aspect of it is that my son, who could have stood by me, is actually taking sides with that stupid thing he called his wife. She has so much brainwashed him that my son do not even listen to me anymore. <laughs> hey! Are you telling me that you never saw any glimpse of evil in her before allowing your son to marry her? That is the thing with these elite police and women. They can pretend! She pretended throughout the duration of their courtship that I personally gave her 100% as a wife. Ifugan, I was the one that asked my son to end the courtship and go ahead and marry her. But as soon as she gave her to her set of twin boys, she became something else. I turned on my eyes. Hey, we. How could you wanna? Do you know that she even forced my son to go and build a house for her in her father's house? I went to Isolo Lisa to inquire, and I was told that that's the way they know they are great women. The women that force their husbands to come and build a house in their father's house. Hey! Hey, we. This is actually difficult to imagine. I will never allow anybody I know to pick a wife from me, Sorry, Lisa. You can say it again. Hey! Wait a minute. Are you saying that this, your Esther, is from 
Is it Lolisa? Yes, she's from Isel Lolisa. A very beautiful lady, lovely lady I want to marry. She is the woman for me. Oh my goodness. Go back to that your Esther and tell her that the fallacy of Madame Uwe will never happen here. And what do you mean by fallacy of Madame Uwe? There's a friend of mine named Madame Uwe. She allowed her son to marry a woman from Isel Lolisa. That same woman at the last minute forced her husband to go and build a duplex in her father's company in Isel Olisa. And is there anything wrong with a man building a house for his in-law if the finances are there? Hey! You see what I mean? She has unleashed the evil of her people on my son. And my son is not now talking like somebody who is caged. Hey! Look, they can cage anybody. But they can never catch my own son. They cannot! Look, mother, I think we're done with this. I have made it clear I am going to Iselo Lisa, not Obuleno. Good night. Come back here! My son, a friend of mine allowed her son to go and marry a woman from Iselo Lisa. That woman from Isel Olisa ended up destroying her family. This family cannot be so remembered. Mother, you of all people should know this. Women who are evil are evil because of their individual characters. It has nothing to do with where one comes from. A living example is your kid sister, Auntie Chidera. As we speak, Chidera has been married to four men. Four. And right now, I think she's even single. She's not living with the fourth person. Now that is anti Chidera for you. You cannot say that all the women from Obololand are like that. There are certainly some women from Obololand who are responsible, who are committed to fidelity, who know what it means to live with a man, who know what, what family means. <sighs> Mother, I am done with this. Good night. Never! I will never allow my son to marry a woman from Israel Olisa. Never! It will not happen. Chidera to, 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 to compare me. Who is Chidera? She has a life to live. I have my own life to live. Look at me. I lived with my husband all through until he died. I tried my best as a woman. Single hand that I raised you up. I did everything to, to make sure that this, the name of this family stands without being dented. Never. You are a joker. A joker of the dying minute. Joker. That's what you are. Good evening, Ma. Where are you as we speak? I'm in my house. Hillary just left my house now. Is there a problem, Ma? Hillary's not even thinking about you. Hillary has a woman from Mr. Lolisa. He, wants, he has dated for two years and he says he wants to marry. If that's the case, I would um, let him go ahead and marry his woman. What do you mean by that? Are you out of your senses? Ma, if he's engaged to some other woman, I'll just let him go. It would be very unfair for me to come in between a thriving relationship. Since he's seen some other woman, let him just go ahead and marry her. I called you this way because I want you to come and see me first thing tomorrow morning. Ma, you're the one that handed over to me as the head of personnel. Tomorrow is Monday morning. There's no way I would not report to the office. The reason I allowed you to take over my office is that I wanted my son to marry you. Don't give me the impression that you now value the work more than my son. Ma, I don't have anything with your son yet. We just agreed to have an affair. But now that you told me he's engaged to some other woman out, I should be the one who is wounded. That is the thing! See, I want you to feel wounded. I want you to fight like a lioness. See me first thing tomorrow morning. I'll have to report to the office first and I'll see you later. Good night, Ma. I must learn from the mistake of others. I will never allow it to happen to me. I will never allow it to happen. Do you know that my son told me to my face that 
he will never allow anybody to detect to him. I am going to prove to him that I am still the same old Madame Lufthansa that does not take rubbish from anybody. Madame Lufthansa, I will advise that you apply caution here. What do you mean apply caution? What I found out subsequently showed me that my impression that some Isolo Olisa women are bad is wrong. At least I've seen some Isolo Olisa women that are good and decent. Wait a minute. Are you by any means trying to cajole me into allowing my son to make the same mistake that your son made? Of course not. At least you know that I'm one of those people that preach against marrying the women of Isolo Olisa. Uh -huh. And that my son married, uh, married a useless girl from Isolo Olisa does not mean that all the women from Isolo Olisa are bad. At least our district head of the women convention is from this Iselo Lisa, and she's the best woman I've, I've ever seen. Very nice, very decent. So, what are you advising me to do? Let me idea. I will advise you to give that young girl, your son, farm a chance. Get to stay with her and get to know her. My dear, do you know that I have already concluded arrangements with some notable men from Oblen? that my son will marry from their town. The girl I found for my son is my successor in my office. Very nice woman. I just imagine, why can't my son marry this noble woman from uh, Obulenu and leave that stupid girl from Izele Oliza? Madame Lutensa, you see, I have found out that what we mothers like in the young women is different from what the young guys like. Yeah? They are the ones that will marry the women. And they are the ones that will live with, live with them. At least, their, their interests should surpass it whatever we like. My dear, this is very difficult for me because I never thought in my life that I would go through this situation. But there is not something we cannot handle. Okay? At least, don't let it weigh you down. This is my mother. She is known as Madame Lufthansa. A former senior officer of the Ministry of Labor and Productivity. She is retired, like I told you. Oh. And mother, <laughs> with me here is my lovely Esther. Oh. 